morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris and Hope's right there. Say hi, Hope. Hi. <clears throat> Got Hope in here at the studio. Got a joke for y'all. Oh, oh, let's hear it. Let's Just hear get it. right into it. Fire away. Somehow, I get a joke every day on email. I don't know how that happened. It might have been back in the day we did our joke of the day. I don't know. I don't know. No, it just started like in the last few months. Okay. And I, if they're not too long, you know, if they're long, I ain't reading them. <laughs> but this one is an oldie but a goodie. We've heard versions of this, so here it goes. Fire away. A teenage son comes across his father with a smirk on his face. Dad, remember when I was younger and you saw me kill a butterfly and you told me no butter for a week? Yes, said the father. And remember when you saw me kill a honeybee later? Continued the son. Yep, no honey for a week, I said, said the father. Okay. Well, Dad, I just saw Mom kill a cockroach. <laughs> you want me to tell her? You're going to. <laughs> <laughs> so she can't get no roach for a week. <laughs> it is Thursday. We bowl tonight, and... You just went right into it with a joke, man. That was good, and I appreciate it. And the reason we got Hoke over here is because we're having some era uploads on our sweepers and our bounty hunters, which was Cowboy and Lucky for Amazon. It's a lot of work, isn't it? It is a whole job. It is a whole job, and I have not committed to that job yet. Well, what's cool about Amazon is when you upload and there's something wrong with it, they don't tell you what's wrong. Yeah, they just go error. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So we've been working on that. So, but pretty excited. All our stuffs, almost all our stuffs, up there. Yeah. So uh, that's pretty good. Okay, so, my buddy Randy Boone lives in Amarillo. Randy Boone, and you remember meeting him a long time ago. Heard Best friend from high school. About Boone. That's exactly right. Well, he's my age, mm -hmm. and old as hell. he's old as hell, <laughs> and. The other day, and he's in pretty good shape. He ain't, he ain't out of shape because he still has to do be in shape for his job. I knew that he had got a stent put in. 85% blockage in an artery. And it got me to thinking. And it got me to thinking about your, and it ain't, this ain't a workout deal. It got me to thinking about your your heart. You're eating healthy. You're well, well doesn't stick. a lot of the, the heart stuff like that come from cholesterol? A lot of it does because you, you, you eggs. It's and blood and stuff that comes in here. It's what you eat and stuff. But what I want to talk about today is men have the worst tendency, which is all of us, of I feel good. I'm Everything's good. fine. I'm good. And now that Stephanie's been working at uh, Texas Urology, in the I have learned. I went and got my. So did you? Had, went and got our PSAs checked. Guys, I know you don't want to have to do this, but you need to get your check. And listen, this is not the right way. <laughs> this is not getting it. To when check. both their hands when are on your shoulder, on it's your not shoulders. right. Hoke has tried that. It may feel times. okay to some of you, but it's not. Hoke right. has tried that three times, and I tell him he's not a doctor. <laughs> but it is a big thing that guys don't like somebody sticking a finger up your butt. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Now, who said? It? That's where I'm going. A lot of people get embarrassed about that. But listen, man, they got to check the prostate. I'm going to tell you a story. I was 18 years old, going to Howard Payne University, 3 o'clock in the morning. I had a pain in my gut that hurt so bad. Well, we didn't make coke till later, so you're okay. Yes. <laughs> I, we got in the car. It was one of those deals. I was yelling at my buddy to slow down. We weren't even moving. That's how bad I was hurting. And I got there, and they went, it could be a number of things. It could even be your prostate. So let's check it. I'm like, <laughs> come on. I don't care how big your fingers are. If you put your hand in there, that's how bad it was hurting. And it turned out they thought it was a kidney stone at 18 that I had passed it already. And the, 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 pain, the pain was already after? Yeah, I come home, they did a dye test. I'm allergic to that. Right. Thought I was gonna die. But, long story short, uh, a little bit of discomfort, if you don't like it or you're embarrassed about it, is Dude, don't, worth it. Don't get in, you shouldn't be. And that's what I wanna Embrace talk about. Embrace it. Just take it. 
because <laughs> it is about, especially now, and I know somebody that's 25 watching this go, man, ain't nobody going to stick their finger in my butt. Well, it used to check your prostate at 40. Now yeah. they've moved it to 50. Yeah. You know, but you need why, to get why your, not? Get that's your the blood. number one cancer in men, right? Yeah. It's yeah. prostate cancer. Get your blood work done. You know, I know you're going to spend X amount of dollars on a new car, a new gun, a new game, a new girl, whatever. Spend it on getting your health, get your blood work done, get your uh, <whistles> prostate tickled. Well, that's a different deal. Okay. That's a different thing. But I know we're joking about it. But you you got to you gotta, you gotta do it, man. You, you just got to do it. There's, there's, you just, I'm sure... I, I just know the man side, but I went to see Stephanie and them, and my testosterone was low, low. Yeah. And I take very, very little. Like yeah. on the on the scale of me and and some other friends that that take it, right? Which I know a dozen. I'm on the very on the low T side. Yeah. Lo, uh, I take very little. Right. But it changed my overall health, health, and energy level. <clears throat> so there's other things too: vitamin C, vitamin D, all these different things that they can check in blood work. And I, yeah, that that that's exactly right. So I know and we, we had the hookup. Yes. So you know, we will check your blood, but usually we just got to stab you and it's got to come into yes. a cup. We'll take it somewhere. And ladies, with since Hoke is here, and we are three. Professionals, we will do mammogram checks uh, <laughs> on camera to on make camera sure we're not crossing sure you know, any lines, and we will just just do it. I don't know what we're looking for, but we'll, we won't, we don't mind helping out. Uh, but guys, we will, do not do testicle checks. We do not do testicle. Checks. We have a guy that will. So just if you <laughs> want your. <laughs> uh, Russell and I were in a car and, and had a little. Not, it, wasn't, it turned out to not be an accident, but we were really scared it was going to be an accident, and I had to check my testicles. Hit, it was, hit they a, was gone. Coming home from the airport, man, in Dallas, hit a hit a hydroplane going back to Chillicothe. We hydroplaned and went from this lane across, slid through the median. It's 3 in the morning, raining hard, into oncoming traffic. Thank God nobody's coming. 360 facing the same way we're going. Yeah. And it was the most, but a car semi was coming. And, and the car has a, a light that says TC. And I went, that must be the testicle check button. We checked them. <laughs> I but I think it was traction control, which yeah. needed to come on. But, but anyway. Men, guys, women too, think about your health as you get older. Uh, I tell everybody now, I don't exercise for 50, I exercise for 70. Because at some point, I ain't going to be able to move. And I want to keep my mobility and all that crap. But get your blood work done. Prostate. Women, get your mammograms. We'll do the mammograms. I've already said that. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah just Look it up. You can it. do it at home. Just start and just work out and see if you feel anything. I mean, yeah. I was just saying we know how to do it. You start Hope's there. taking his clothes get... off. You oh, no, no. Oh, y'all don't want to see keep that. Keep your clothes on, buddy. You can keep your clothes <laughs> on. Hey, and it's Thursday. We bowled tonight. I'm excited. Uh, I'm feeling a 600 tonight. I'm calling it out now. So y'all let you know Monday on the show if I get it or not. But I really <laughs> feel like I'm, I'm. I feel like I'm there. Have y'all ever feel like I'm there? Went to Academy or Walmart and bought one of them really cheap tents to go camping. No. Well, sometimes you, when you fold those tents, you know it folds like a cheap tent. I fold Buddy, like a cheap tent. I know where you're going now. Sometimes you uh, fold like a cheap tent. I fold it like a cheap tent. When you have it in your grasp, and you, it's right, and I fold it like a cheap tent. It's like 28 days or whatever that was, 27 hours where he cut his deal off. <laughs> his arm off. I feel like... You're trapped in a cave and you're dying. I was your ass, I can't even. And it was funny for a while. Now it's I feel bad. I, I was it was frustrated. I do have a deal today before we go that I want everybody to put in there. And thank everybody for the movies. Uh, Hope was Star Wars. Uh, if you missed it, 
go back to yesterday's show yeah. and tell us what you your school medal jacket, jacket, which I thought was funny. And I did ask Stephanie Hurst, his Christmas vacation. <coughs> Christmas Christmas I knew that, yeah. Stephanie. I, 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 I was I just thinking of a I pay attention, but I forgot. Okay, today we're going with and you favorite. Going with I know favorite song. One song that you can listen to over and over. One song. Hoke, I'm gonna start with you. Favorite song. One song. <laughs> Let's uh, go. Is it you two something? I know. That's what I'm saying. I still have a vow I'm looking for. You two still haven't found what I'm looking for. Okay. You? God. One song that you can listen to. You over have to give a brother over. some notice on something. <laughs> I know, I know. I shocked it on you. But my one song that I can listen to over and over, and it, every time it comes on, I just get 1984 Van Halen's Jump. <laughs> and I like a lot of music. Basketball teams. I, I like a lot of music, but every time that thing comes on, I like RB, I like country. Every time that song comes on, I get excited. By the Pointer Sisters, Van Halen, Jump. Then the point. Who did? Who's the female Jump? Was that Pointer Sisters? Yeah. Man. Yeah. Uh, uh, we only got. I mean, we got to go to work today. Give me, give me, give me a second. <laughs> got to go to work today. Y'all are gonna think this is crazy. <clears throat> Alexander but a song O'Neal, I something. can listen to. No, uh, Alexander O'Neill, yeah, that, that was a good one. But oh, you got I got the Gap that. Band going in circles. I got Ooh, uh, I like that. more Stay in the Time. There's a bunch of them. But this one, Jungle this one, guy. Austin by Blake Shelton. Holy macaroni. We went from For more Stay in the Time. To Blake Shelton and I, and, and Austin. I absolutely the I, the story of that deal and picturing it in your head is just awesome to me. So one Blake song. Shelton wins. One song for today. What it is? What it is? Tomorrow, because remember you got to share on the best of. You have to watch it because the winner who will get a free lunch from the backyard will be announced in the middle of the best of. So you either got to scrub through it or you got to watch it because I'm not telling you, you have to watch the show tomorrow. Sons of... You done? I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. Watch it. Like it. Share it. Until Monday, I am Russ. This is Chris. Hope's right there. And we are... <laughs>